kids are insane, right? Certain jobs take certain patience, right? And I, I don't think I have the patience to be a teaching professional. So there's this young white student, and, and race does matter in this because she brings up race, so race does matter here. Young white student pretty much attacking an elderly black teacher. I don't know what the context was to get her to this point, but in no way, shape, or form do I think any child should put their hands on a teacher, especially an elderly teacher at that. So let's watch the video. Let's react to it, and then you know we'll keep talking. So this is in uh, Castleberry. High school in Fort Worth, Texas. You know, hey, in Texas, shit get crazy. <laughs> so she walked, she already walked up to the teacher's desk, right? On her, like she's already got her Karen strut down to a T. <laughs> she's upset. The teacher's trying to call somebody. She hangs up the teacher's phone. <laughs> let me let it play. I'm gonna let it play. Oh! She hit the teacher. You're right. You touched me. I did not set you. So I asked you. No, I'm calling my mama. You ain't about to fuck me up, bitch. Oh. I know she. The teacher, teacher's looking like. Did I hear this bitch? No, they stopped myself. Get off my seat. <laughs> she's if you didn't hear she said this teacher's about to get fucked up if she does she's talking about this elderly black woman now just keep listening you want to talk to her because she's black and she's thick and she's fucking pissing me off right now She's black and she's fucking pissed. She threw the. Oh, hell no. She must go to church on Sunday. She got. There, this is a uh, an elderly black queen. She has to go to church on Sundays. Because let me tell you something. There is no way in hell I am allowing a student to. My mom is not a teacher. Well, see, that's different though, because my son Zorak, my son has, uh, my son has autism, and that's like a different, like, you know, they they get overwhelmed easily, sensory overload, you know, things happen. So, like, I understand like an autistic kid doing certain things, right? Now, I don't know if this girl has autism. I don't think she does. She's in what seems to be like a normal class where, like, you know, uh, I don't know what the word is. I don't want to say the wrong word, but you know, neurotypical. I think it's neurotypical. Children are at so, you know, that's a different scenario right because like i said my son has autism and sometimes when he can't communicate properly he gets upset he's young but still i, I get that but anyways there's no way in hell i'll be dealing with that shit oh a normal a normal oh okay okay i see what you're saying, I see what you're saying. okay anyways there's no way in hell i'll be putting up with shit like this a teacher a, a, an older black teacher first of all the little white girl hit her when she walked up to her she cussed her out, said, I'm about to fuck her up. She threw the phone at her. And I'm assuming the mama asking what happened. And she said, because she's black and she's pissed. Obviously, something going in that, around in that house where they don't fuck with black people. So we're going to look at the parents a little bit side eye too. Especially because my daughter or son will never call me from a teacher's phone talking like that. Because I'm going to be up at the school to whoop their ass myself. Right? Now... If I'm the parent, I don't want the teacher to touch my child. But if I'm the teacher, we can that little white bitch fuck about the class. She got to go. You're not going to hit me. You're not going to verbally abuse me. Y'all better hurry up and get this little white girl. I'm going to throw ass out of the class. You know how Uncle Phil throws out uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff or whatever the fuck? You know how he throw his ass about the house of freshman to the Bel Air? That's that little white girl flying about my classroom. Get the hell out of here. Oh, that's how she going. Right out the goddamn door. Get it out of here. So when I see shit like this, I'm like, this little white girl bold, she thinks she she thinks she's somebody that she's not. Because you don't know who is grandchild to that elderly black lady. You don't know. Thanksgiving coming up. Family might be coming into town. There might be a, I don't know, maybe these kids like 13, 14. There might be a 13 or 14-year-old young black girl that see you abusing her grandmama 
pull up on you and whoop your ass. And I would love to see that filming footage. Like I, said, I don't condone violence. But if that little white girl feels the need that she could just run up and hit on and beat on this elderly black teacher for making her mad, probably she was probably acting up and the black teacher wasn't putting up her shit. If the little niece, nephew, granddaughter, grand, whatever, come and beat her ass. Y'all don't agree? If you if any ladies in the chat, even guys, let's just say that's a white boy, right? Let's say it's a white boy. If that's your grandma and you are the same age as this person and you saw this video go viral and you know where that person's at and you see that person, would you not feel inclined to whoop they ass? Let me know. Because I would. Like, oh, you did, uh, black, so obviously you got a little bit of racism in your heart. It feel like it. You got a little bit of racism in your heart. You're a little snooty. You threw the phone at my grandma. You hit my grandma on the arm. I'm going to beat your ass. And I would love to see the follow-up of this. I would love to see, like, whoever made this TikTok obviously goes to this school. And maybe they did post, like, an update video. I'd love to see, like, what happened after this. Oh, her mom came and her mom whooped her ass. Not the teacher's ass. Her mom whooped her ass. And now that girl's been suspended or expelled or whatever the fuck. Because shit like that's ridiculous. I see one clip of a teacher. This is a black teacher and a black student. A male student. I think a male student and a male teacher. He was pushing them. All right, you get about two pushes and I'm going to bear hug you. You got two of them. And once you pass that limit of two, we got to get you about the class, big dog, because we ain't doing that no more. Because at what point do you continue to let children beat on you? You can't. I don't know about letting nobody beat on me. I don't give a damn how old you are. Especially these little 15 year old motherfuckers is big nowadays. Like, I mean, I'm a big dude too, but like some of these 15 year olds, they be like 6'5, six, 6'4. Six, like, they bigger than a lot of these. A lot of, these, a lot of teachers, right, are probably like 5'8, five, 5'9. Five, they not big at, they not former NFL players, unless maybe they coach the football team. And they got these big 6'3 motherfuckers pushing up on them, beating their ass. It's like, hold on, bro. I'm not dealing with no shit like that. So I don't think this teacher had to deal with no shit like that either. And I hope, you know, whatever comes with that for that girl is what comes with that. Because you can't just be acting out, going crazy, and thinking that you're going to be able to, you know, do whatever you want to do. And I feel like that little white girl feel like because she white and that teacher black, she feel like she's obligated to be able to do that. Just the way she talking about that teacher made me feel she like she has the privilege to talk to that teacher the way that she talked to her teacher. Hope you guys enjoyed that clip of the podcast, man. Make sure you subscribe on SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes. And subscribe to this channel here because you have clips. You have full video podcast. You have everything you want here on this channel. So select one of these videos on the side to continue your journey on the channel. Hope you guys enjoy. See you next time. Peace.